What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. But that's only part of the story. This fellow's good. A man who needs no introduction. I give you. What's up guys, PTC aka We Are The Trend back with a new video today which is actually going to be my clothing pickup from March 2016. So before we jump into it, I just want to say if you guys are digging the content and want to see more, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button below and subscribe to see more. So without further ado, let's jump right into the pickup. Alright, so I'm going to start it off with some accessories which is pretty much just hats. First one being this pirate hat, it's for like that dad hat look from 47 brand. I really liked my fitted one but it didn't go with every outfit so this style kind of goes with more casual and streetwearish type stuff whereas the fitted one didn't so I still wanted to have that versatility so I got both. I think this costs like $19.99 free shipping on eBay. I'll put a link below and I'm going to try to go through these fast because I hate when pickup videos are really really long so I'm going to try to do it fast and just give you the basic details. So this is the Bin Trill and Coca-Cola collab hat from PacSun. It is an all tan hat, it's a Coca-Cola on the front, Ben Trill on the back with the leather strap. I'm not a big fan of this hat, it's not very deep so it doesn't fit very good, so I don't know, not a big fan. This next hat I found on eBay just randomly looking for the other pirate hat. This is like a green, almost military style type hat, but it's a pirate hat. And then there's an FSN which is Fox Sports Network embroidered on the side. So I assume they gave these away um, either through the TV channel or at a game or something. I only ended up paying 10 bucks free shipping so I figured why not get something unique. I really like this one. This next one is more popular with uh, my crowd so you guys probably really enjoy this one. This is the Hypebeast pickup. This is the off-white cap. So they made a black one, pretty much reverse of this one which I really liked. But I unfortunately missed out on that one so I saw this was available on Sense so I grabbed it immediately. It cost me $85, which is a lot of money, but there was money in my PayPal, so I said, why not? And I'm lucky I grabbed this one I did because I couldn't find it anywhere like a week later. So Sense was gone, Off-White site gone, so if it is available, I'll link it, but I'm not sure. All right, so now we're going to move into more of the actual clothing. We're going to start with some t-shirts. I have two here. This one is actually pretty random. It's from, um, what was it, Lucky Brand, the store. This is a Kiss t-shirt. I thought it was pretty unique, and it also says Kiss Crew. 1979 on the back which I really liked so I didn't try this on at first and I was just looking at the sizing and even the XL just looked really tiny so I ended up going with a double XL the lady at the register was like double XL and I was like well yeah it's 100% cotton it's gonna shrink like crazy and it already looks small so I brought it home the double XL literally fits like a large so I assume lucky brand goes for like that slim fit like super buff look or something but this thing fits tiny, so if you're looking to get any t-shirts from Lucky Brand, size up. This next t-shirt is actually from Premium, which is one of my favorite brands. It's their tan shirt from their pop-up shop from Washington, D.C. Everyone that was on the staff and crew for like the whole thing was wearing these shirts, and I really liked it, and I told Davin that I really wanted one. So they ended up releasing it, and I ended up buying one. So it says Premium Dry Cleaning and Laundry on the front. And then the same thing on the back, except for it has that little logo with the boy and the umbrella. Um, with this, it said 100% cotton, so I, I immediately, my mind went, it's going to shrink. So instead of large, I went with XL, and then I put it on, washed it, and it still fit huge. So I hit up Davin, and he was like, yeah, it's already like kind of shrunk. So this thing is pretty much way too big for me, so probably not going to get too much wear of it, which I'm really upset about, but you win some and you lose some. All right, so moving into more like the outerwear type stuff. First up, we have this yellow flannel. If you watched my vlog from the mall, you've already seen this. This is from Urban Outfitters. I think I ended up paying like 10 bucks for it. So I was in the market for a yellow flannel and it worked out. Not too much to say about this piece. I really like this one. All right, so if you saw that vlog, you also saw this piece too. This is the blue sweatshirt. It's like really paneled. It's got a panel in the back and then also on the sides here. So it's got a really nice fit. And as you can see by the tag, I also only paid 10 bucks. So that was a no brainer. It's a great spring color and it looks good, especially with a shirt layered underneath. So I'm not sure if this stuff is available online. If it is, I will definitely link you guys. If not, I'll find something similar or I don't know, just don't yell at me. All right, so this next piece, I also got the same day as the vlog, but I didn't vlog in Sun, so I didn't show you guys. But this is like a short sleeve hoodie with some distressing and some holes in there, as you can see on the side there. It's also some in the front. 
and there is a hood on it it's kind of hard to show you but there it is there's normally a drawstring but it actually fell out in the wash so i got to put that back in i think this costs like 39.95 and they're buying get one half off so ronnie ended up getting a sweatshirt so definitely can't go wrong with this you guys know i love short sleeve hoodies and hoodies in general so it's a no-brainer all right so this last piece i was actually really excited about because i was in the market for one for a while this is a denim jacket. This is from H&M. It was the H&M and Coachella collaboration. So it's got that crazy print on the inside, which I'm not too big of a fan of, but it's no big deal. What I really liked was the outside. It's got like that almost like acid wash, dirty kind of look to it. And it's also de-stressed too. You can see a little hits of uh, rips on the shoulders, on the back, which I also really liked. It gave it some character. I went with a size large because that's literally all they had left. I would have probably gone with a medium in a perfect world. But for 40 bucks, I couldn't complain. I had to grab it. All right, you guys, so I really hope you enjoyed those pickups. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. Definitely make sure to give me that thumbs up and subscribe if you guys wanna see more. You guys can also see some of the stuff early and the stuff I don't post on YouTube by following me on my accounts, my social accounts. It's Twitter, we are the trend. Instagram, we are the trend. Snapchat, we are the trend. So thank you guys for your continued support. You guys have been killing it lately. So I will catch you on the next video. Peace. Oh, and stay tuned for my March sneaker pickups. It's coming right after this one. <laughs>